PL, uh, here's a very basic video on integrating Chat GPT APIs uh, with Node-RED. Now, there are already a few packages that have been uh, developed by Node-RED's open source community, and uh, they pretty much do everything. Uh, like my favorite is this custom Chat GPT uh, node, and it can generate images. It can use the compl completion uh, model. Um, so yeah, feel free to check this out. But I still wanted to make a video explaining how you can use Chat GPT in your project uh, through APIs, or maybe build an application around Chat GPT API, uh, build a custom node, red node. Uh, so hopefully this helps. Uh, let's get started. So, the, so first of all, these are a few things that you'll need. You'll need a chat GPT uh, or OpenAI account. Uh, so you can go to platform.openai.com and sign up there, and then you'll need your API key. So once signed up, you can go to your username and then hit view API key, and you'll create a new API key uh, for, uh, for this account. The next thing you'll need is a running instance of Node-RED. So I have Node-RED running as a container on my Mac. So this is uh, where it's running, localhost 1880. So now let's uh, set things up. So I have a new flow. Let's call this chat GPT example. Now, so we can follow along with the API reference here. So what we'll be doing is basically making a re request to the completion API and then uh, giving it some content and it will generate a response based on our question that we asked. Now you can follow this uh, same API reference to generate images audio files, uh, but in this uh, tutorial, we'll just be working with the basic completion API. All right, so coming back to Node, uh, Node-RED, I'm going to use an inject block. Let's call this question, and here, let's call this uh, message.question, and this needs to be a string. We can update the string later. Next thing, we'll use a function block to make our request. So let's call this format payload. And here we'll be using the payload that has been provided by um, in the API references. So let's call this message dot payload, and this will be the JSON object. So this is the model that we'll be using. Uh, role is user. Uh, so temperature is basically how random do you want the response to be. So if you put a temperature value of let's say zero point two, it'll be yeah, it'll be more focused and deterministic. So let's leave the temperature rest 0.7. Now for the content, I want the message dot question to be the content that will be coming from our inject block. So that's basically our payload. Now we'll use the HTTP request call API. Now this is a post request and we are planning to hit the chat completion API. So that's this. Now in header, as specified in the API specifications, we need content type, which is application JSON. And we also need an authorization token. So our authorization token is something you can fetch from uh, your API keys. So the header will be authorization. 
and you need to add bearer before the token so bearer space and your token so this is my token so once this is done let's hit done now we just want to display this response in the debug panel so let's call it message or payload absurd response all right so this is our very basic flow now let's ask the question let's say uh, give me a tagline for a store that sells I know, shoes and shirts sure so once this is in place let's ask the question and it's requesting ABI response so now once this is done and here's the response so let's instead of let's get the response in a JSON object so it will be much easier to parse and look at so let's ask the same thing again so now if you look at the response if you go under choices and message so this is what chat gpt gave us as a tagline for a store step up your style game from head to toe i mean that's pretty good now let's ask maybe another question um, what is the theory of evolution Now, if I hit inject again, it again request um, making a request to the Kochak GPT API, and once it's done, it'll generate a response right here. So let's go back to choices and under messages, the content, and it gives us uh, the theory of evolution as the content. So this is uh, pretty much how you use or start to use the chat gpt apis now for your node red project you can add let's say a text input if you don't want to ask the question on the uh, on the on the editor and you can also use something like a text output to generate a response on the node red dashboard and add much more features or functionality around it so in the next tutorial i'll be uh, building a custom node using this chat gpt api uh, so feel free to check that out if uh, you're interested and i hope this helped uh, thanks